John Harity, team manager of the Rafa team, you must be pleased you've got the, you've got the leader's jersey and the team's on fire. Yeah, we're doing very well so far. It's, uh, it's good to be leading at this point in the series. We've got the team that goes away. We go away with the team to Canada on Sunday, so we wanted to be in the lead because uh, we have to field uh, probably not our best criterium team in the next two rounds of the competition. So we did want to be in the lead, have a little bit of a buffer. Uh, and hopefully we can try and increase that lead tonight to give us, a, as I said, a little bit of a buffer in the next two rounds. As a team manager uh, with this new concept, is it giving you some headaches? Um, not headaches in so much to, to try and get the riders to understand quickly. Um, they have to think a lot, to, a lot, to, you know, well, a lot quicker. Basically, they have to react a lot quicker to things that are happening. Um, and in consumers, it's really, really difficult to uh, to react quickly, especially if you're a little bit too uh, too far back in the field to be able to uh, you know, react quickly if you're too far back. You can't do it basically. So it's almost you've almost got to ride at the front constantly. We've kind of managed to do that so far. Uh, it'll be interesting to see on this circuit tonight uh, how we manage it. It seems that uh, you know, the lead can change overnight because if or in, in one stage because two riders, you, know, you could be have one rider up and then two riders drop out or whatever and the whole thing goes upside down. I think the easiest way to try and explain it to people is what I've said to my riders is that if you imagine it a bit like a team pursuit where it's your, you know, on the track, it's your third rider that's the most important rider. That's that's the one that wins or loses the competition for you, basically. So, it's that, and it's all about them looking after that third rider. It's all very well and good you getting first and second, but if your other, you know, your third counters 54th or 55th or whatever, then that's no good. You need to. It's your third rider is the most important, and you really have to uh, look after probably uh, the riders that you, you know, the unsung heroes really, the ones that are finishing ninth, tenth, anywhere in the first 20 really is, is going to be good for you. How, uh, how are you able to communicate with the with the riders? Because you're not allowed um, radio communication, are you? That's right. It's, a, it's a, they've changed it for for this uh, for this competition. I welcome it. It's a, it's a you know it's a good idea. I, I think radios. I don't think you should ban radios. I, I I like the use of radios. I think it's a lot safer when we use radios. But I think for you know for something like this, it's an excellent opportunity to test out you know how it used to be basically when the, the riders had to think a little bit more for themselves. So it goes back to um, you know when we used to race the criteriums. Uh, you know, in the you know the late 80s and early 90s, basically, it's just them looking at the manager in the pits or working out for themselves uh, during the you know the course of the evening. Listen, good luck, and let's hope your team can stay in the lead. Thanks very much, Paul. Cheers.